Hey folks, Mark with Gringo here. Today we're gonna to talk about how to use Gringo products from seed to harvest. Which one to use at the beginning, all the way to the end? Because people ask this question all the time and we wanna give you all the answers. The first product would be our Granular Plus Mycorrhizae. That product is gonna be used for transplanting. Or Typically we say if you have a seedling, you wanna transplant it into a pot, so you wanna take the Granular Plus Mycorrhizae, put it into the Hole, put the roots down on top, cover it up in water. I always recommend right after that doing a nice watering with green aminos to really help with the structure of those roots to build into the soil and expand the root system. Okay, so you're doing two things in one to really get that seedling off and running. The seedling's not going to require that much nutrients and that much fertilizer at first, so you can just do waterings with green aminos. A teaspoon per gallon once or twice a week is all you need. Once the plant gets bigger and you can tell the roots have really got established, you can use the green aminos once a week and then start using the veg as a top dress. So our top dress veg fertilizer, you're gonna to wanna to use once every other week when the plant's small and then once a week as the plant gets bigger. All you do with the top dress is you sprinkle it around where the base of the plant is, scratch it in water. Once you start getting the plant towards transitioning into flower, you can do something I call secret, you can top dress the flower finisher to set the flower sites on the plant before you go into full bloom. Once you're into full bloom, you can do what we call an instant tea with the green aminos and bricks once a week, and then top dress once a week with the Prideland's Bloom. So Prideland's Bloom top dress is gonna be exactly the same. You're just gonna sprinkle it around the top of the plant, and then once it's done, you water it in. Also, what you could do is do the instant tea with the green aminos and bricks, which is one teaspoon of each per gallon of water. Mix it up, water it in once a week around the root zone. So from there, we would move to late flower, where you're gonna be using the Ryland's Bloom once a week, and then you're gonna be doing once a week the flower finisher. You can do the flower finisher either as a top dress or as a tea. Okay, so for the flowering tea, we recommend using nature's bricks at one teaspoon per gallon and flower finisher at one tablespoon per gallon of water. So that's what you'd water in if you wanted to water in. If you wanted to top dress everything, then you'd still want to put the bricks by itself and, and water that in and use the top dress of the bloom and the top dress of the flower finisher as your weekly top dress schedule. I like to do the top dress bloom on say Monday and then do a flowering tea on Wednesday and then maybe a light top dress with flower finisher on a Friday. So you're spacing that out as your plants needs. The other thing you could do would be to do the flower finisher. This is a secret advanced technique. Flower finisher top dress mixed with earth shine. When you do that, it's gonna amplify the amount of food that gets fed to the plant. The earth shine has tons of microbial activity in it and it'll amplify how fast that food feeds the plant and the amount of production you're getting out of your canopy. So that's kind of our basic structure. If you guys are having any IPM problems, bugs, insects, etc., that's when you're gonna to wanna to use our Prideland's Defense. So our Prideland's Defense is going to be a top dress or a tea-based botanical, and it's 25B exempt, organic, and safe for use around pets and children. So that's kind of our line, our organic line in a nutshell. We'll have another video that talks about our hybrid line and how to incorporate some of these products with our hybrid fertilizers. Thanks.